Hello viewers, this is Siddiq from Toronto. I'm back with the video series which is Basics of Expository Program. And today we are going to cover the video which is, I think, we got so many requests to produce this video uh, because this is one of the very very confusing topic and obviously as you can see the subject line so now we'll be we'll be trying to figure out how to select the right noc yes national occupation code right and this is one of the very very important also because whenever you are trying to complete your express entity profile you need to fill up the the noc information like you cannot just change it later and very now and then because uh, this is one of the parameter they will they will judge you because you are now applying under express NT which is a skilled worker category so how do how do you prove yourself whether you are skilled or not so this NOC I mean your job type that's your identity okay you are skilled on that particular uh, job right so we are going into deep right now going forward what are the things that you need to consider before you select the right NOC. So here are the points. Okay, number one, skill level or type, then your job title, your main duties, uh, education or employment requirements, then the regulated or non-regulated issue. I will describe all the points one by one. Stay tuned with us and let me tell you if this is your first video, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button on your top right corner because that will allow you to get the notification instantly whenever we are publishing any new video right okay now regarding the skill level or the skill type as you can see in this image like there are total five categories but for the immigration you have only zero a or b these three option available right so you cannot go beyond these three and you need to make sure your skill type or your noc title falls between any of these three there is no other exception now if you if you go to the noc table and if you could, if you can just type your noc code let's say for example for our this one we are typing 1311 and on the right hand corner you can see the skill type or the level so which is b for this particular case so which is good so and your case you need to make sure this is falling under 0a or b right now regarding the uh, regarding the titles like what are the titles given in the noc table so do not be that much afraid of those title if it is not 100 percent matching with you this is just some examples so you need to make sure your own is somewhere nearly equal to these or some sort of similar of these ones right so do not be that much afraid oh my god there are 10 titles and none of this is matching with me no this is absolutely not a problem just make sure you're somewhere there right now moving on regarding the main duties so here are the thing like most of you guys are asking us so do i have to match all these things no because this is never ever possible right you are coming from one country and you are coming to canada definitely culture wise company wise profession wise so many things are different right that definitely ircc authority understands but you need to make sure the job you're doing right now the noc you claim right now I would say go for at least 60 to 70 percent similarities if it is there let's say if they found okay the job description mentioning in this table is also matching with your uh, job description by at least 60 to 70 percent then they will be happy and you are good to go right then one more thing I must mention here uh, to be qualified for express entry program the NOC you'll be claiming for you need at least one year of continuous job experience please mark this point let's say you are working in two different companies or three different companies and you are working for six months seven months then eight months something like that discrete no it's not gonna help at least out of these two to three companies one company in one organization or company you need to continue the job for at least one year of the period if it is not then you are not qualified for the express any program please mark this point very very clear carefully okay now come to the education or employment employment requirement uh, topic because so many times you guys are asking us do my study has to be related to the job so it is yes and no 
So yes, for this case, because you can see it is clearly mentioned like uh, completion of a college program in accounting, bookkeeping or related field. That means with this NOC, they are asking for this related study as well. But in some cases, they will just mention, okay, just need to complete high schools or the diploma or the bachelor. They are not asking for any related study. So in that case, if your study is one uh, side and your job is in another side, so you're good to go. But for this particular case, definitely you, you need to match up your education with your job, right? There is no other choice. Now, regarding the regulated or non-regulated, if you look towards these employment requirements, you will find nowhere it is mentioned you need some licensing or certification. That means this is not a regulated profession. Now, let's, let's look for a regulated profession one where you will find what do I mean by the licensing requirement and how to figure out whether this is really a regulated one or not. Now, let's go for another NOC code, which is 3112, General Practitioners and Family Physicians. So I'm not going by all the details, just I'm showing you the employment requirements where in the in the red mark you can see it's written as licensing by provincial or territory licensing authority are required that means this is purely a regulated one so whatever the NOC you will be looking for uh, if you see anything written as licensing or certification that means this is a regulated one and I would say honestly please give off the NOC that is not perfect for you right so go for another NOC where which may be similar of your that NOC, but it is not asking for the licensing because you cannot produce license while you are not in Canada. It's not possible, so just give it up. Now, regarding the job points, that how many points you'll be achieving out of your job, I will strongly recommend to watch these three videos uh, because uh, those are already covered nicely. So, so you can click on the suggested link above or you can check the description box. I have already mentioned the uh, references of these videos so you can just go and check the points associated to uh, the job factor okay now i will give you some personal tips okay so these are absolutely personal and i assume this will help you because that that worked for me and for so many other viewers of this channel and also so many members of our facebook group right now number one would be if you if you see like you can select multiple analysis like you are doing such a job which can be fit with multiple analysis so please go with the one where this is more related to your study then which has more number of year of experience then you can show more evidence to that job and also i would say you, you are not facing or you're not going to face any problem if they're coming in person to verify because remember NOC verification is one of the crucial thing after ITA so like one of the very crucial thing after ITA means uh, they will overlook so many other things but they will look for this NOC for sure so make sure there are many cases they are coming to your office your organization in person to verify so make sure you are not just bullshitting rather you have enough evidence against your NOC now for the job matching I already mentioned before make sure at least 60 to 70 percent of the job description is matching and uh, also it, it, it would be a wise idea if you check out all the PNPs are available in this market because you cannot just, just switch your NOCs, right? So whatever NOC you will be selecting, uh, you need to stick with that. So please browse the different NOC, uh, different PNP websites so that you can see what's going on there. Like because different provinces have different, different demand lists except the Ontario because Ontario doesn't care about the demand list. Rather, they are looking for only the CRS 400 plus points. Okay, so except Ontario, everyone has different, different demand list. So for an example, Example, I'm giving you the Saskatchewan demand list and the Nova Scotia demand list here and you can check uh, if, if your NOC is coming there but again uh, please be careful about the regulated and non-regulated issue as you can see in the rightmost column because if it is regulated then forget it even if it is matching to your profile it's not for you okay and then last but not but the least I would say you can apply to as many PNP as you want but the NOC has to be one it cannot be two so make sure that point and finally uh, I don't want to break your heart but I will have to kind of 
okay please excuse me for that so many times you guys are asking us in facebook group or the youtube channel okay this is my education this is my job experience blah 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 what should be my noc now unfortunately if me or any other admins or any other member is not 100 percent aligned with your education or the job then how can he or she suggest you the NOC. This is not possible because you know your job, your education and your everything very well. Nobody else have any idea what's going on there, right? So it's our honest suggestion to you. Please do not ask what should be your NOC to any one of us, even not even not to anyone in the world because you are the only one person who can tell for sure which is matching with your profile. So we are just sharing some tips here, some tricks here, how to select the right NOC, go with those advices and select your one. And I'm sure you will be able to do so. So for today, this is it. Uh, keep watching our videos, stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe that. Okay, bye-bye.